Chase Bryce, the former quarterback, the backup at Clemson, who's had all sorts of turnover issues, as mentioned, getting an opportunity right away. And a takedown by Jennings on Deion Jackson. And training camp didn't, you know, help his situation, but they do need him to protect the ball much better than he has. And trying to throw the second down, and he's going to go down in a heap. And Jalen Phillips all over him, the outstanding defensive end, as he picks up his sixth sack of the season. He has been a monster. Well, and part of what we've talked about with Chase Bryce is his inability to, to hold on to the football. Being under pressure will do that to you. And Jalen Phillips, who's been really a godsend for this Miami defense. So the former backup to Trevor Lawrence very rarely got into a game that meant anything. Trying to stay on his feet and make some yardage here, but he's going to be taken down. Stopped by Bubba Bolden, the strong safety. He will pick up one yard on that carry. Yeah, it, you know, they want Chase Bryce to play with some tempo, but you got to have an opportunity. You just see, it's just Jalen Phillips once again, and that's up on Jacob Monk. Now, I'm not sure Monk, you know, got much of a hand on. Other, as his players have started to filter back into practice as late as yesterday, and King will dump off the short one to the tight end, Brevin Jordan, as he takes to the right sideline. In position. First and 15 for Bryce. Back to throw some time in the pocket, but now he comes ahead and he's going to be dragged down. Stopped by Jalen Phillips again. He was suddenly getting very cozy with the quarterback for the Duke Blue Devils. They gain nothing on that one. Yeah, and he just does a nice job here. He basically gets double teamed and does a good job of retracing his steps as Chase Bryce climbs in the in the pocket. And so you see one of the reasons why, whether it's the long arms, whether it's just his ability to be relentless and, and continue. Football is playing with passion and like he loves the game now. Second and 16 and a short pass will not get a whole lot. Complete to Jalen Calhoun. He has Cam Harris. And back to throw. And we'll fire over the middle, and that one complete to Harley. Will be stepping out of bounds after the game. Mike Harley. To, to step up. They were looking for guys to do it, and Mike Harley's done that. Second and eight. They put it back, and he can certainly break your back this Derek way. Derek King with the carry. All right, so obviously shaking up the 5'10 freshman out of Fort Lauderdale. His pride hurt a little bit as well, probably. Cheney. Trying to break away down the right side with a big game for Miami. Devin. King handing it off. Harris going to bounce outside across the 30-yard line for a determined run. A 10. With Jordan on the move, they like to use the tight ends. They have two very good ones. So fire that one and tumbling into the end zone. For the touchdown is Brevin Jordan. Well, you a 24-yard strike. <laughs> yeah. They do like to use their tight ends, and this is exactly why, Dave. I mean, you just, you know, they move them. They basically run both of them vertical. Mallory goes to the corner. Here comes Jordan to the post, and it's just good timing and ball location by De'Ara King. See the anticipation right as he kind of made that break. Ball already on its way. Great to best little player and finding more opportunities for him. I think we'll see, you know, pretty good production. Gets the ball again here and didn't do it here, but his last five games he's averaging them. When you look at last year compared to this year for Miami. First down 10. Gave it a short toss. We're getting to the tight end. Jordan will race out of bounds. So Miami on the move again. King will fire. And that's going to be caught. A completed pass. Restrepo with a nice grab there for 13 yards on the game. You know, you're seeing it from Wiggins. And, uh, you know, you're seeing it from Pope. I right, got a breakaway here. Heading for the end zone. In for the touchdown, Cam Harris. Some great misdirection there as King took off in the opposite direction. And Harris rumbled in for six. You're right, Dave, about the, the misdirection. We've seen it. We've seen a couple of boots. We've seen leaking guys out into the flat after some misdirection. We saw a reverse. And this one here with it was kind of a zone read. 
with Derek King reading Chris Rumpf, and it's just well blocked up front. And this, in many ways, looks like the Georgia Tech game, you know, for Duke, where just getting gashed in the run game and back comfortable and, you know, make him feel less like a sitting duck just back in the pocket. Uh, Jackson running right into a tank as he is stopped by Bradley Jennings, who saw him coming. Yeah, and this is a nice play by Bradley Jennings playing downhill and you see him just meet Jackson and you know get the better of it. Low man wins oftentimes and that's a good job downhill playing low by Bradley Jennings. Interesting things happening before December 20th. Well Duke trying to convert another fourth down and a little pitch here and they're going to snuff this one out and Pankhol wasn't going anywhere. Miami saw that coming from six miles away. They're going to lose 10 yards on the trickery. Phillips, man, eyes everywhere by him. What a great play. Just great discipline. He's on the right side of your screen here. And as, as Duke is trying to run this reverse, look at Jalen Phillips just keep his contain, do a good job of getting upfield. And listen, that's just a smart football play. You know, we've talked about his ability and his ability as a pass rusher. We saw it early in this football game. You know, I'll you know, you just think about how depleted the secondary has been. That's been a challenge for Duke, and they like to play a lot of man coverage. Harris, look at this in the open field. Now getting behind some blocking as he crosses the 40 and finally steps out of bounds after another terrific run. He is having the biggest night of any of the Hurricanes early on. Yeah, you mentioned terrific run, and, you know, he's more of a, a pounder kind of back. He's got very good speed, but the elusiveness there... A little sidestep in the open field. The coaches, the conference really deserves a big, big hand for it. being able to play as many games as they had. King again heading for the end zone. He dives for the pylon and a touchdown. D. Eric King will take another look, but he. Freshman. Right so far, 10 out of 13 throwing it. Another short toss to Durant. Actually, it's Calhoun who's going to. All that one. Of success offensively prior to the half. They will run again. It's Jackson, and the football is loose. It is loose on the deck. Miami says they have the football, and they do on a turnover. Roche able to dive ahead and gather that one in, and another turnover for the Duke Blue Devils, who came leading the country with 30 of them. Yeah, and it's just a whiff up front by Casey Holman, and that play had no chance from the start. And, you know, Deion Jackson, who looks like he's shaken up on the play as he loses the fumble, there's three defenders there essentially unblocked before he gets to the line of scrimmage. And I think it's been the advantage of First down 10 for Duke. Looking to throw, but here they come again and take it down. It's Roche. He is just so quick to the quarterback. They're going to lose seven yards. And a fumble on the play. Roche able to get that football loose on the hit. So once these games, you can see him wearing it right now. After another turnover, second down 12, King to fire and complete. Boy, he is loving Brevin Johnson again, his tight end. T can be. All ACC tight end, he missed three games. Certainly healthy, King finds a hole off to the left. Second down here for King in Miami, trying to find the end zone again. Gonna throw it short. Will Mallory still on his feet and diving ahead. Down around to the two or three yard line. That is about a nine yard gain for the number two tight end. Yeah, this is a good quarterback play. Look, we know that Derrick King's undersized. Just finding throwing angles, finding ways to get the ball off. So talented, and then just quickly back at it again to spit the ball outside to D. Wiggins for the score. In for the touchdown, D. Wiggins for six more for the Miami Hurricanes, starting to lay it on the Duke Blue Devils here in Durham tonight. 
just amazing how fast these guys go. You know, it's, it's move the pocket play, quickly snap it once again, spit it outside to, to Wiggins, and it's basically a sweep. And there's Brevin Jordan, who we've talked quite a bit about in the passing game as a receiver. But coordinators raving about the quarterback on his own team. You know, everyone kind of gets tunnel vision, but in Miami on both sides of the ball, they just love him. And another stop here by the defense. Hard for the official to miss that. Second down, five for Duke. And on the carry, Deion Jackson. Now back to Manny Diaz going for his fifth consecutive victory tonight. He's made a lot of exactly why they're here tonight at 7-1. and one. It's, it's a great point in, you know, taking a chance on number 15, Jalen Phillips, who, you know, had been out of football. And, you know, you just think about the boxes that, that he's checking and, Listen, it, it's adding guys like this, Jalen Phillips, who, you know, is it, a dominant player inside once again, and it, it's Monk who barely gets a hand on him, and, you know, I... Miami playing for the first time in three weeks. Harris can be a, maybe a target here. It's going to be Harley right down the center of the field, 30-20. Forget about this. Mike Harley is gone. Touchdown, Miami. 89 yards for that strike. Now De'Ara King going long this time to his favorite receiver. <laughs> right there, they talked about getting explosive plays kind of in the middle part of the season, not finding them. And you know, kind of this little stack down at the bottom of your screen, it, it's a busted coverage because you have two Duke defenders, you know, running at one wide receiver. That turns Harley free and Derek King sees it, delivers a nice ball, and reset the culture in the receiver room, and that's invaluable. Well, that was his longest touchdown reception of his career, and Miami's longest play of the season. And that's the way the night has been going. Is the football loose? Yeah, Miami says they have it again. Boy, the turnovers for the Duke Blue Devils have been astonishing this season. They've added to those tonight. And now we'll see who has the football. On the kickoff return, Miami says they've got it. Then Miami will have the football again on yet another Duke turnover. Rolling really on the field, is the receiver fumbled the football, recovered by Miami. First down. See it there, Philia Johnson just tries to go up over the tackler and that ball's clearly out and <laughs> you know for, for a, a team and a program that made a big deal about the turnover chain and getting them on special teams <laughs> hey, very confusing we, we've all had that happen before it's <laughs> probably unnerving if you're trying to send in a defense or an offensive play call Harris trying to get to the end zone is going to be just short inside the one yard line Tackle made by Drew Jordan to prevent a touchdown there, but that's an 11 yard gain. You know, Dave, isn't it funny? We, we basically go from score, you know, scheduling games years out to basically pick up games. Harris again into the end zone. So once again, Miami finding pay dirt. Another touchdown for the Hurricanes. Somebody else, you know, entering the game of quarterback for Duke. Durant on the carry, trying to cut back inside. He's going to be sitting and watching somebody else play. Yeah, that's a great point. You know, when you agree to play quarterback at Clemson, regardless who else is there, as he takes a pretty vicious hit and goes down again. Each team each season, and you have to think it makes a difference. Nice to fire and a complete pass to Durant. Lost the handle on that one, but. He was down and a pretty vicious hit again, and Miami has been laying those hits on Duke all over the place tonight. You know, we talk about this Miami kind of team and, and defense, and I, and I do think at the linebacker level they're improving, and, you know, Keontra Smith is, is one of these guys that, that I think plays with pretty good speed at that level. It's the quarterback, so King will step aside. 
So the 6'4 junior out of Ocala, Florida, is going to get a pass off very quickly here to Cheney. Cheney in the open field. Cheney will cut to his right before he is taken down after another massive game. It's a really cool play designed by Miami. It's essentially a fake quarterback draw. Watch Nikosi Perry. He kind of attacks the line of scrimmage. They pull the guard. It looks like run. And Jose Borregales. It's be considerably longer than the one he missed early in the game. He has made 15 out of 17. And again, a 52-yarder. As he lays into this one. And that one was true. He nailed it. Miami continues to score, now leading it 45 to nothing over the Duke Blue Devils. Two, he's gone 10 for 15. He's going to keep the football and try. He's going to lose it, and Miami is going to come up with another fumble. And it's Carter, Amari Carter. There to scoop that up. So Holmberg on the very first play he gets, he coughs it up. It's a design quarterback draw. This is, so it's a scripted run for the quarterback here and just doesn't secure the football. You know, it's, it's hard. It's a, it's a big hit, you know, right on the football. But I'm sure with today's protocols, it's got to be wiped down between turnovers. <laughs> it's getting a workout tonight. So Miami taking over the football and Perry with the run. He's the other number five. Carter, the defender, wears that number with the turnover chain. Miami had hopes tonight with a victory against Duke, and they've taken care of their end of things. That if Clemson stumbled, they'd have an opportunity to play in that ACC title game. That will not be the case. But I do think they have come to Durham and taken care of it. What they had on their plate. Waters with the carry. He'll be dragged down. And that's a that's a tough football team, and they kind of find different ways to, to get it done. And you mentioned the Virginia Tech game. They had so many players out. I think it's hard to judge wins, losing situations. I, I think the, the job the ACC has done to, to play these games and the players who wanted to play them and have had sacrificed a bunch to get it to happen. Kudos to them. Well, another turnover. And this one is going to be picked off by Clark. Marcus Clark with the interception. The fifth turnover for Duke tonight. He finds Mike Harley and just a lot of big moments. Chaney staying on his feet, taking it to that far sideline after another turnover.